Hi guys, today I'm working in London's Hatton Garden, which is behind me. And like many people in the area, I'm heading to Level Lane Market to get some lunch. Now, the sun's coming out, but up until now it's been a pretty grey, gloomy day here in London. So I fancy something to brighten things up, to spice things up. I'm headed for Mexican Daddy Donkeys, and in particular one of their renowned burritos. Level A Mark is very much a weekday thing. They're just setting up now. There is, there is a resident community here, but it's dwarfed by the workers that arrive every day by train from the surrounding areas and surrounding counties to work in all the offices. There's a lot of media companies here, investment banks down the road. Many people come here for their lunch to the market. Being self-employed, I can come a little early because the queues, I've worked in the area for a long time and Daddy Donkeys was originally a food truck, a market stall somewhere around here and it's a huge success it was a buzz from day one probably the best part of 10 years ago so long queues every day it moved to a shop down here in a former pizza parlor pizza hut kind of thing pretty terrible pizza restaurant and uh, yeah queues out the door every day since so I'm coming a little early to try and beat those queues let's go and check it out hopefully when I've got my burrito and the finish setting the market up as well, we can take a stroll back down the market and check out what's going on today. Okay, so here we go. On the corner of St. Cross Street and Lever Lane, we have Daddy Donkey's Kick-Ass Mexican Grill. Their words, not mine. The menu's quite concise. There's one here on the board outside. I'm going to go for the Daddy D burrito. You've got a choice of three types of burrito, the Daddy D, their signature dish, the fajita, which is very similar, just slightly different fillings, the naked burrito, so in a box rather than in a tortilla, tacos, tostadas in, instead of a burrito, choice of fillings, first of all, the primary filling, chicken, steak, carnitas, which is pork, shredded beef, there's a vegetarian option, and you can have that in the burritos, the box, or the tacos, You've then got a choice of salsa, mild medium medium corn hot chili hot smoky chipotle and extra hot habanero i think I'm, today i'm going to go for hot smoky chipotle and then extras guacamole jalapenos tortilla chips and corn tortilla chips with salsa and guacamole and of course a choice of drinks so let's go inside and order a daddy d burrito Okay, I'm going to order a Daddy D burrito, which is a flour tortilla filled with coriander lime rice, black beans, sour cream, and you can also have cheese and lettuce for no extra charge. I'm keeping it simple, and I'm having carnitas, which is hand pulled pork, shoulder and leg, slow cooked in garlic, spices, chili, and Coca-Cola. And for the salsa, I'm having hot smoky chipotle. The carnitas, which is all pork with the burrito, the burrito, all pork burrito with hot chipotle salsa, the sour cream, black beans.
smells, it smells amazing. See the flour tortilla, tortilla, the rice, black beans, pork. Get a real kick from the from the hot hot salsa and then the sour cream. There are other extras and additions you can have as well. It's pretty uh, standard issue. Mm. And I beat the cues. Take a walk down the market, enjoy this, and see what else is for sale. Boom burger's pretty good, the truck there. Right, let's go. Okay, I polished off that burrito, it was delicious. Let's take a walk down Level A Market and have a look at what stalls are available today. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I definitely recommend weekday lunch times if you're paying the market a visit at its fullest. Master's pretty good. There's a, a video about it on my a vlog about it on my channel. When it's really busy, they have the stall open outside and the shop. I can vouch for the fish and chips as well. That's pretty good. I've worked here years. There's very few places that I don't try when they first open. So there are very few places I've disliked. Most of them <laughs> that I dislike, most people dislike and they close. Pretty quiet today. I guess they're uh, dealing with everyone's um, New Year's resolutions. Being a food market, fast food market. The queue's starting to form. Donkeys already. Luckily, I just avoided that. It'll be massive soon. Same with uh, Boone Burger here. Delicious burgers. Hence queues. Proof Rock Coffee, Proof Rock Coffee, do a great cup of coffee as well if you're looking for coffee at Never Lane. Brazilian barbecue looks very popular, I've not tried that, but 
Yeah, all of the people that come here are not necessarily residents, locals. Quite a lot of them will come here every day. It's a great spot for lunch, so you can usually tell by the queues where's good and where's not. It's not the only way to tell, but it's a pretty good indication. And of course, every time somewhere new opens, it's the longest queue in the market. And it only stays that way if it's any good. Department of Coffee and Social Affairs here. If you watch my vlogs at Spitalfields, I often try their coffee at Spitalfields. It's pretty good, so I've had it here. Equally is good. And that's it. We're at the end of Level A Market. Back to work. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video, lunch break video. If you did, please hit the uh, thumbs up like button and if you'd like to be the first to see my new films the subscribe button and if you like Mexican food definitely check out Daddy Donkeys for a burrito I nearly I very nearly forgot toodles